And now, they always come back. An attractive woman in her early 30s, her drawn, pale face making her look older than her years, is being visited by her local clergyman. I felt I had to come, Mrs. Pender. In the two years that you and your husband have lived in my parish, I, I feel I've become as much your friend as your minister. I'm sure you have. A happier couple I can't recall. I beg you do not regard my intrusion as an impertinence, but I think you know why I'm here. Yes. Is it true? Yes. Then allow me to express my deepest sympathy, to tell you that if you are generous enough to take him back when the time comes, he will return to you. Not much chance of that. He will come back. They always do. Even sensible, down-to-earth fellows like your husband, they experience this desire to get away from their families, their responsibilities, to strike out afresh. But even though he may be gone for a week, a month, or perhaps a year, the time will come when he will realize what he has done. He will return to his rightful home. There is something else, Mrs. Pender. The stormy passages of life seem invariably to strike at those best fitted by the strength of character to withstand them. Those people who can fight on. I can't fight this. You can. I'm sure of it. And try not to think too harsh of your husband, Mrs. Pender. A momentary infatuation for a pretty face. Someone younger than yourself, perhaps. No, and... she's not pretty and she's older than I am. Oh. Well, I'm sure the woman in the case, whoever she is, will meet the fate she merits. Mrs. Spender, after all, most men are like putty in the hands of a clever woman. And the fact that she's broken up your home will only mitigate against her in the long run. You're very kind, but... Believe I... me, I know. I've seen this kind of tragedy too often in the past. But as I say, he will come back to you. Of that you may rest assured. And this woman, this... this Delilah will pay in her loneliness and shame for the rest of her life. Mrs. Pender, this is a time for fortitude, a time for bravery, courage that I'm sure you possess. It's so difficult to be brave. Now when... There, there. There, there, my dear. I know how you feel, believe me. And I wish there were words that would adequately express my sympathy and my disgust and horror at this woman's behaviour. Your husband is not blameless, of course, but when he realises that he cannot any longer avoid his responsibility, his duty, Mrs. Pender, he will return to his lawful home. Must you keep on saying that? I... I, I beg your pardon. Oh, get out. Just leave me alone, please. Mrs. Pender, you're over Would you please Would leave me alone? Very well. Very well, Mrs. Pender. I, I had no wish to anger you. I... I if... If there's anything you need, Mrs. Pender, anything I can do... Just get out! Everything you said only makes it worse. That's where he's gone, you stupid fool! Back to his wife! 